Hey everyone, my name is Joe with Dark Shade Window Tint and in this video we're going to go over the most popular films that we put on homes and we put on businesses. Now we're not going to cover every single film available because there's just so many. We're just going to cover the most popular ones, talk about the pros, the cons, the cost for installation and overall hopefully this video gives you a good idea of the type of film that would best solve your problem for your home or for your business windows. So let's get started. So the first film that we're going to be talking about today is our standard white frost film. Now this film, it is a frosted film, but there's many different types of frosted films available that we do carry. This just so happens to be our most popular film that we install on offices to provide privacy during the daytime or nighttime. And when it comes to homes, we install this film on the front door, the back door, and bathrooms. A lot of new homes nowadays, they have large windows in the bathroom, and so you know they want their privacy. So this film right here, the pro of this film is gonna add privacy day or nighttime. It's gonna reduce about 30% of the heat and block 99% of the UV rays. Now the con of this film is that when you put the film on the actual glass, you can no longer see out of it. So you are gonna cover the glass entirely. It's kind of like a prettier way instead of just putting a, a very thick curtain on or just covering it with paint. It's just a nicer way of doing it. But this film is great if you're looking for privacy during the daytime or nighttime. The cost for installation for this standard film, it can get more expensive if you get premium frosted films, is around $5 a square foot and it can get up to around $7 a square foot. Now the next film we're going to talk about is our reflective film, aka people call it mirror tent, one way mirror. We're going to talk about that film next. Now there's two main different types of reflective films. They look kind of the same when you're looking at it like this, but when you put them against the window, one reflective film, which is just a standard silver reflective, it has kind of a blue look. It might be harder to see on camera, but it kind of has a blue haze to it. While a dual reflective film, it has the reflectivity on the other side, so nobody can see in, but it kind of has a black finish. So, in, so it depends on the type of style you're looking for, if you want a more neutral color on the inside, or if you want that kind of blue color. Now these films, the pros of these films, is gonna block a lot of heat, many times over 70% of heat, a lot of times these films come with a lifetime warranty. They block 99% of harmful UV rays from damaging floors and furniture. Um, and they do provide 100% privacy during the daytime if you get a, a darker reflective shade. Now the only con to this film is that at nighttime, you no longer have the privacy like the frosted film. At nighttime, when you turn on the lights in your office or in your business or in your home, it does a flip. So now they can see inside and there's no longer that privacy. So if you're looking for privacy mainly during the daytime and at nighttime you got blinds, shutters, or curtains, then this film is great because you're now still able to see outside unlike the frosted film that just completely covers the window. Now this film typically costs around $5 a square foot to around $6.50 per square foot for installation. The dual reflective film tends to be a little bit more expensive, but these films are great all around budget films to block a lot of heat, provide privacy during the daytime, stop the UV rays, and overall just a great all around film. Now the next films that we're gonna be talking about are neutral colored films. So they kind of look similar to car window tinting. However, these are ceramic films. So what we're gonna show you, and we're gonna go outside to show you this, we're gonna show you how you can get a very, very light film to put on your home or business windows. That's not gonna change the look of the windows at all. Still let in the natural light, but most importantly, block over 50% of the heat. So let's talk about those films next. So the next films we're gonna be talking about is our clear ceramic films. Now these films, when you install them on a window, they're virtually clear. You cannot notice the difference of these films, uh, whether you're outside or whether you're inside. Now these type of films are great because they're gonna still let in all the natural light, not change the look of your home or the look of your business, but most importantly, because they have ceramic embedded with the film, um, they are gonna block a lot of heat. So there's actually two types of clear ceramic films. We have what we call the ultra clear, which is basically a 70% shade film. It's super, super clear. Now, if you, and then we have a standard, just clear ceramic film. This film is a 50%. So that means it's gonna make it a little bit darker, um, add a little bit, to, little bit shade to it, but most importantly, they're not gonna change the look whatsoever. If you had guests over to your home or business, they wouldn't even know that this film is installed on the windows. Now, the pros of these films, like I said, block a lot of heat without changing the look of the, of the home or the business. 
block 99% of UV rays. A lot of times they come with a lifetime warranty. For commercial buildings, they come with about a 15 year warranty and they are gonna reduce a little bit of the glare. The only con to this film is it's not really gonna block too much sunlight. So if you're looking to block a little bit of sunlight because maybe the sun is the sun blinds your eyes or blinds the computer screen, we have other films that are specifically designed for sunlight and glare reduction, which we'll be talking about next. But these films are all around great films to block a lot of heat, but not make any changes to your windows. These films are more on the higher end. They're around six to seven dollars a square foot, just because you're getting the best of both worlds. Not noticeable, yet still blocking over 50% of the heat. Next, we're going to be talking about is our sunlight slash glare reduction films. Now these films as you can see they go from light, medium, and very very dark. Now the purpose of these films is basically to reduce the amount of sunlight and glare that's coming through the windows during the daytime. They do help with reducing 99% of UV rays and a little bit of heat. They're around 35 to 50% of heat reduction unlike the ceramic films that are 100% clear and they still block over 50% of heat. Now the, the reason you would get this film is you want to be able to see your TV screen, your monitor maybe if you're in a business or you're at home and you're trying to watch TV and there's a lot of windows and you're trying to just darken the room a little bit. These films are great all around films that are just going to help a little bit with heat but mainly that sunlight and glare reduction. Now the only con to these films is that it's not really going to block that much heat but it's still going to do everything. It's going to block the sunlight, the harm for UV rays so it won't discolor furniture or floor and you know they are it is gonna help a lot when it comes to the glare reduction now these films typically since they're just simple standard films cost around five dollars a square foot for installation and they do last a very long time but like I said it's just great for sunlight reduction now the last thing we're gonna talk about it's not as a common film that we install we usually install this film on commercial buildings it's security film we're gonna go over the benefits of it and the cost for that. So let's check out that film next. Now this film is a very thick film. It's like laminate, it's very, very thick. It, it could be up to five to 10 times thicker than just standard, regular solar films. Now the purpose of this film is once you install it on commercial buildings or your home, the purpose is once it dries, it makes the glass a lot, lot stronger. It's to strengthen the glass in case of a, a burglar attempts to break in and in the event of there being a natural disaster such as a hurricane, you know, when things hit the windows, instead of it just shattering and falling to the floor, it's gonna definitely hold together the window and just give it an overall a more strength to it so it could take a beating over time. Now, even though it's clear, you can get uh, security films that are gonna have that reflectiveness so it could have privacy like the the reflective films or you can add some shade to it to also reduce a little bit of heat. Now even though this film is clear, it's going to help strengthen your windows, it's going to help block, I think this one is 95% of harm for UV rays and it's still going to let in 100% of the natural light because this film is 100% clear. Now the pros of this film, it is going to strengthen your windows so you have more peace of mind knowing that nothing could easily come through your windows or someone could as easily come through your windows as before. The the con of this film is it can get expensive. This film can range around $6 a square foot all the way up to $15 a square foot depending on how thick you get this film. The thicker the film means the more security. So a standard security job is about an eight mil thickness. That's a standard security film. If you're trying to get this film for natural disasters like hurricanes, things like that, you could get a six mil or four mil thickness, a little bit lower. Now, if you have a business, you sell high-end merchandise like jewelry, we recommend 12 to 14 mil thickness. Um, this film, like I said, great to strengthen your windows. The only con to this film, it's not really gonna reduce that much heat unless you specifically get a film that has heat embedded in it, or a ceramic embedded in it but it does cost a little bit more than other films. So what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna go outside and we're gonna quickly talk about our ceramic film. We're gonna show you how even though the film is clear, we're gonna show you with the BTU meter that measures the heat outside, we're gonna show you how that film is gonna reduce a lot more heat in comparison to other films and we're also gonna show you how much the reflective film also reduces. So let's go outside and take a look with the meter. All right guys, so right now we're outside and we're gonna be testing different types of films with the BTU meter that's here to help us measure heat. 
Now we're gonna be testing silver reflective films because that's the film that actually blocks the most heat. We're gonna test clear ceramic films so you can see with your eyes that you do not have to get a dark film to block a lot of heat. And then we're gonna compare the clear ceramic film to just a standard film that's meant for sunlight and glare reduction. So let's get started. So the first film we're gonna be doing a heat test on is our silver reflective film. Now this film, once you install it, you can see out, but they cannot see in during the daytime. So it's gonna look very reflective on the outside. Now this film right here is a great, great film when it comes to cost. It's not as much as ceramic film, but it's gonna block more than ceramic film and add that privacy. So let's do a heat test on it. Right now we're holding a BTU meter that's here to help measure the heat. Now in Houston, it gets very, very hot. Right now it's at the end of the day, but normally at around 100 degrees outside, this BTU meter would be around 300 BTUs. Now when we put it in front of the silver reflective film, it will reduce over 65% of heat and it can reduce more depending on how dark you want the reflective film to be. This reflective film right here happens to be in the middle. It's a 20% shade film, so it's not too dark, not too light. Let's check it out. It goes from 170, 180, all the way down to around 48, 50. Let's do it again. 180, all the way down to 50. And so as you can see, there's a big difference with how much heat that is gonna block. So if you have rooms in your business, um, windows that let in a lot of light, let in a lot of heat throughout the daytime, especially in the summertime, silver reflective film is all around a great film to reduce a lot of heat. Now let's go over and talk about our clear ceramic film, just so you can see that in comparison to our standard sunlight and glare reduction film. Now this film, when you install it on your business or your home windows, it's not gonna change the look of the windows whatsoever. Unlike the reflective film, it is gonna kind of add that reflective mirrored silver finish on the outside. This one is very neutral, similar to car window tinting, but very, very light. So as you can see, the B2 meter is measuring around 180, 185. And when you put it right in front of the meter, it cuts down right to 80. Let's just do it again. On 180, 185 then it cuts it down a pretty good amount. Now, this film, we're gonna compare it to a standard sunlight and glare reduction film, which is a film that sometimes companies use on windows, claiming that because it's dark, it's gonna block a lot more heat, when the reality is just because a film is dark, it does not mean it's gonna reduce a lot of heat. It, it will reduce a little bit more heat if the film is a little bit darker, but because it's reducing the sunlight does not mean it's reducing the actual heat that you feel during the daytime. So let's compare this film to our standard regular tent that is just meant for sunlight and glare reduction. All right, so the last film we're gonna be testing with a BTU meter is a 5%, the darkest film you could possibly get for home or commercial windows. Now this film right here is our standard sunlight and glare reduction film. There's no ceramic embedded with the film. So that means that it's not really gonna reduce that much heat as much as other companies claim. So as you can see with the BTU meter, it's running around 180, 170. Now when I put it in front of the darkest possible film you can install, it only goes down to around 150. See, 180, 150. Unlike the ceramic film, the clear ceramic film, it went from 180 to just 80, or the reflective film, it went from around 180, 190, all the way down to 50. So what this tells you is that just because you're getting a dark film does not mean you're blocking a lot of heat. If it's not a ceramic film or a reflective film, you're still gonna feel the same amount of heat that you once felt before, but just this time, you're gonna have a lot less sunlight. And it doesn't matter if you get a lighter standard film, it's still gonna block a very, very little heat. All right, guys, I know this video was longer than our typical video, but hopefully this helps answers a lot of questions that you may have on the different types of films that we carry, the films that are gonna block the most heat, the standard films, the privacy films, security films. Hopefully we answered all the questions that you had about window tent because I know it's just there's just a lot to learn. And before you make any investment for your business or your home windows, 
our main mission is to make sure that you know everything there is so you do not have any regret after getting that window foam installed on your windows. So if you have any questions or concerns or if there's anything that we did not answer in this video after watching this entire video, please give us a call, send us an email, and we'll be happy to send you samples, uh, talk about which film is best for your specific situation that you're facing with your windows. And our main mission is just to be as helpful as we possibly can so you can feel confident when you're getting window film installed on your home or business windows. Thank you so much and see you on the next video.